evening everyone. So yesterday was uh, self portrait day as part of the May challenge. This is one of which I ended up with. Um, and the next one, this is what I went with. So the idea was with lockdown, um, and maybe in general, my mind was a bit of overdrive, you know, overthinking and thinking I should be doing something when I probably should be relaxing sometimes, but um, this captured that. So I used a few clouds, as you can see, I've got the layers in here. Um, and then I've just overlaid maybe some previous images or thoughts, like nine to five. And that's one that we, uh, we all juggle, um, along with everything else that we're trying to get on with life, dog walks, time with the wife, coronavirus at the moment, um, football, chilling out, you know, reading, anything when the mind is overdrive that was the idea of this image just me trying to gain a bit of um, calm all this is going on at the same time so that was yesterday's image didn't get to shoot a full video on it but that gives you a snippet of it and you can just see there how we've built the layers up so if we just take those and put them in a group and there we go original image and then with the clouds added in and the cloud was one of mine uh, from a previous photo and it just changed the size up for some of them and then overlaid some of the um, images there and you can see with affinity it's really easy to do that for instance this image here if I put it on full percentage you can see it there drag it out let's just pop, pop it there just for not, not there, control Z. Let's pop it just above. So for instance, you can see that there. That image on its own, but if we control Z it. And then place it in as part of that cloud. You keep that one. And then it snaps to the cloud cloud is his mask. This works really well. That's what I've done with all those and then just reduce the opacity a bit. Not on the group, on the actual image itself. Just come in there and reduce that. And there we go, that was a bit of my thought process around this image for yesterday. Uh, the raw process in the X5 software that I've been testing and that was yesterday so we'll come out of there. It's yesterday's image, we could have gone with that one. It's a bit more crazy, isn't it? Um, I think it may be some weights in the hands and doing similar things, but we didn't go with that one in the end. Now, what we've got today in the S5 software, so this was just um, an image for breakfast. So if we just take a look at that, what I've done, I've come in into the software carried out some base editing to alter the exposure slightly, brought it up, just bring down those highlights a bit, there we go, brought the shadows up there, and also bottom left, well, this left hand side you can see some presets, so I thought I'd give one of those a blast, I think it was this one that we went with, or similar, um, so we've gone with that preset, I have cropped in as well, so F2 in this software is for crop, different to the Adobe software, so I've cropped in slightly as we can see, just getting that third on the, um, the cup there, press enter and then we've got that coming down in the software, I've done the sharpening, move on further down, there's a bit of a vignette with that preset, so we've put that in, and then focus sharpening which I think is more local to where the focus point was seems to work really well um, just sharpening it up slightly on the subject got the lens profile and that is about it so what we'll do then we'll right click it edit in affinity photo just while that loads I'll just move that light box because that'll block the sun that's coming onto the screen that's 
that's better. I can see what I'm doing now. Right, so we've got that image. Open in Affinity Photo. I'll duplicate the layer. It's a habit I'm used to now. Um, and then maybe we can darken down this area slightly. Let's just have a look. See what the develop module does. Click on that. Let's see what happens if we bring the highlights down in this. We've already done it in the X5 software. Let's just see if we get it in here. And you can see it's happening. It's taking too much off the bananas. That's what we'll do. We'll leave that where it is. I have made those slightly lighter. And then let's have a look. Let's use the Wacom. And maybe look at the burn tool. You can see what it wants to do there. Let's just look at the highlights. That's far too much. Let's bring the opacity right down. We'll just paint in. But you can see we're getting those weird artifacts now. I think maybe there's a little too much blow now. Let's have a look and see what we can do with the in-painting brush. We can try that. We might need to clone it to be fair. Let's have a look. It's not a bad effort if we didn't know, but we do. So let's have a look at the clone tool. Alt and click. And then what we'll do. gradually work our way across. There we go, I think that's looking better. And then let's bring the burn tool in, we might just go a little bit around here, make it smaller. Filters, colors, and I think vignettes there. I think maybe we'll try a custom vignette. So let's um, add a new layer. opposite way press alt and then mask and I think it gets the opposite way there we go get a paintbrush make that white which we are and then there we go you can see that working it's only that corner really that probably needs it Slightly. Now, uh, why did I do that? There we go. Look at that one we're missing. So we'll start again. But it's a crop too tight. Cancel that. See, we all notice something now and again. I'll get rid of that bit in the software on this outside. So, edit, copy 
champion Infinity Factor. And we'll start again. I know, he know the histograms towards the dark side. Um, I don't want this looking overly bright anyway. Let's go with that again. Control J. There we go. Got a layer. Let's get a clone tool. See if we can get the same sort of effect as we did before. Now remember, we've got a bit more of the image, so it's going to look slightly different. It's probably looking better this time round, to be fair. Software's having uh, different shortcuts for the crop key. So wherever you remember them all. I think it's R in Lightroom, C in Affinity, F2 in X5, so maybe I am remembering them. Let's have a look. Let's get the unpainted brush. Take some of these bits out. Some crumbs. Roll with the toaster, it's inevitable. There we go. Okay, so there's my peanut butter breakfast. And what we'll do now, we'll do that layer of black. Drop that in. Alt and mask. Just so we mask it all out. And then we'll look at gradually. It's obviously coming from that way because of the shadow on the glass, so we don't want to go too far. That's done. That's merge visible. Take that away in that one. So that's before, there's after. Just tidied it up a little bit. And we don't need to go overboard, it's only an image for this competition for today. Just to show breakfast and that we're doing something with our cameras. So let's have a look at sharpen. That's too much clarity, far too much. There you go. Let's have a look. Apply. And then we'll just have a look. Filters and then we'll have a look at um, the collection. Let's see if we want to do anything there. from a dog walk and uh, crapped open the uh, Koppenberg, although alcohol free so it is a bit like uh, Robinson's, <laughs> that's uh, very nice stuff, refreshing after a dog walk in the heat, so let's have a look at these, that's quite, um, quite like that but let's just bring down the strength slightly. Let's have a look at the basic adjustments. Stick with that for today. Call it. 
let's uh, click OK on that. We'll compare it to the original, see if we like it. Oh. Yeah, I quite like that. That's done a nice job. And it's going to be a little bit greeny because I think what was I shooting at? 3200 maybe? Let's have a look at the software. Come down to the metadata and we'll have a look. I say 2000, not far off. And on the 70D, noise can creep in. Um, 1600 and above really. It's not great for handling noise. But that's the image for today. And what we'll do, open this Insta Square template that I've got. Take that one off. Control A, Control C. Now taking a copy of that layer. Let's pop that in there. And then I think let's just Control Z that. Hold the Alt key so we keep the aspect ratio right. Don't want it going skew with. Today's and then tend to just put black outline on it about five pixels done. Let's put a nice outline around it. Control J that and then we'll just pop this on the logo just like that. And then if we drag it down, I think it needs to be just there. There you go, you can see the colour is over that or underneath the letter. There we go, we'll leave it like that. So that's today's photo of uh, peanut butter and banana on toast, a bit of tiger bread. So that'll do for today. Only two more days of this competition to go. I say competition, it's a friendly competition really, just for us all to get a bit creative. Or at least be using the cameras during lockdown. So there we go save that for today breakfast and that is today's done and I should upload it I think I may have found the video for yesterday's edit so I'll see if I can tag that on for putting the clouds and etc bit of a quick edit on that one and that's it done catch you later bye